Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome to Simply Negla. Today, I'm going to review this nail stamping kit. I'm so excited to try this out. So I'm going to review this stamping nail kit for you guys and also at the end to show a little nail tutorial with this stamping kit. So get pumped, get excited, sit back, relax, and continue watching. But as you do that, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you know you want to. So let's get started with this video. And lock your way so we can break up out the so the nail stamping kit that I'm going to review for you guys today is by The Queen. It's by the same brand that I use for my liquid peel off cuticle guard that I use in many videos where I do ombre. So this, they have a nail stamping kit and it's their starter kit. This is what it looks like and on the back it shows the instructions and the multiple designs that this nail stamping kit will have on the nail plate. All these patterns look pretty cool so I'm excited to show you guys. So let's open the box. First right off in the box you'll see the silver metal nail stamping plate. So this is their nail stamping nail party one stamping plate. Then right under that, once again, is the instructions on how to do the nail stamping and as well in the back of it, there's tips and tricks on how to scrape the nail polish off the plate and then tips and tricks on stamping and on how to clean the nail stamping plate. Right under that is their scraping card um, that you use to scrape off the paint. Very handy. Do not lose. Next is the cool little stamper to stamp the designs onto your nail. I love the, like, the little squishy uh, top of it. I don't know why, it feels good. In this kit, they give you two colors and they have a white. It's their super intense, their pure white, and as well, their pure black, which they call it Black Jack. So, really cool. To give it a good test, I'm going to test out both of the nail polishes. I don't have black paper per se, so stamp the white polish onto like a colored piece of paper. I have orange today, and then the black polish on a white piece of paper. So you can see the difference. First, I'm going to use the white and apply it onto the first design. I really didn't have to apply polish on the whole plate, but to begin with, I did the whole thing, but you'll see I later I didn't. And then I scraped it over with the scraping card they provided and then with the stamping stamper I stamped it on and then stamped it on a piece of paper with this whole process I guess it's like practice is key the white some of the designs didn't come out perfectly So here is all 12 of the stamping designs in white and as well I went ahead off camera did the stamping in black and here's the difference like I said the some of the white I don't know if because of the white or just I needed to practice on how to do it like I said at the beginning that uh, some of the white designs with the white polish didn't come out perfectly as it did with the black polish. I really really enjoy the patterns more in black than I do in white but let's move on to make the design on these nails so for the base colors I used a black from LA colors color craze which is stark it's a green from LA colors color last called energy and a white from LA colors color craze called energy source so on the middle finger I did a white because I'm going to do an ombre on the index finger and the ring finger I did a green and then on the pinky and the thumb I did a black with a white middle section and at all of those I did two coats for each First, I'm going to do the middle finger, which is an ombre. I'm going to do like this circle ombre. So, I had a makeup sponge wedge, and I use a green, the LA Colors Color Last Energy, and a yellow. LA Colors Color Last Upbeat. And I applied the green on the outside, and then the yellow in the middle to have like that beam of yellow light. And I did about two to three dab sessions, make it opaque as much as I want. The index finger and the ring finger are left alone. I wanted to do this PG rated alien design onto my nails. So on the thumb and the pinky, I wanted to do this like UFO with a beam of rainbow light. So on the white parts that I did, that's where the rainbow is going to be. I won't Two 
coats of all the strip of colors on the pinky and the fluff. And then with the white, uh, the LA Colors Color Craze Energy Source, I drew in a UFO shape and then outlined the rainbow colors so they can pop. Added some dots for the UFO. I also made like little stars on the outside on the black. To make the rainbow shine, I decided to add some glitter. So I applied LA Colors Mermaid Magic called Crystals. Now to the fun part, the stamping for these nails. So for the index finger and the ring finger, I decided to do this like goopy looking one with a black. I used this other image for my ring finger that is probably more of a skull but I wanted that to represent my aliens so I used the black again and it looked like little tiny aliens y'all I love it once I was done I applied my Profix quick dry high gloss top coat and I was done with these nails so you guys how do you like these nails I really enjoyed it I really love these nails I really like this stamping kit like especially days that I really don't want to do that nail art I have to stamp some designs on my nails I think it's really really cool and I thought this was really easy and I recommend you guys to get the queen nail stamping kit if you see it around so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did give a like down below and as well subscribe if you're new here and if you haven't already and I will catch you back next week with something sweet and cool on this channel but other than that